Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the NO truck bed cargo rack on our 2021 Ford Ranger. Now this can be an excellent way of really maximizing the space in the back of our truck bed here. As you can see, we are gonna need a nice cross bed rail here to get us a lot of versatility for our truck. Not only can we throw kayak carriers up on here, bike carriers, but we can even start throwing up some more cargo baskets if we're really needing to maximize the amount of space we're using for our cargo on the back end. Well, let's hop up and start taking a closer look. Great thing about these bars, they are pretty sturdy and extremely easy to install. As you can see, we're getting about 110 pounds of weight capacity down here, so that's gonna allow us to get most of our accessories that we actually wanna throw up on here. Now, keep in mind, you know, can't get too crazy with it. Got a 50 pound kayak and about a 50 pound bike. You're already pretty maxed out. However, that's still a lot more use that we are getting with our truck bed, still allowing us to utilize a lot of that cargo space underneath. It's also pretty well made here. It is a steel construction with a powder coat finish, so as long as we're being careful here and not damaging that powder coat, it should last us a long while. Well, let's go ahead, take a look at the installation and see how easy that is to do. Our installation is going to be very straightforward. We're going to go ahead and start with our feet clamp here. You can see we are going to get just this little plastic piece. That's going to serve as a really good base for our feet hold here. So we just want to head with the long side on our rail that just protects our sidewall here. As you can see, make sure we're not biting into that. It's going to give us a nice distribution of that force. When we start here too, we're going to go ahead and make sure we've lined up our other ones. We've already gone ahead and getting those dimensions, but for today, I'm gonna put it right at 24 and a half inches across from each other, center on center, as I know that's what my other feet are. Now you can really kind of make this your own thing. If you need a little bit wider, you definitely can. Um, most things that start requiring it, like kayak carriers and other things like that, usually have a pretty standard of 24 inches, being a good distance for our crossbars to sit. So we'll go ahead, throw this guy under. So we're gonna have it to where our inno is hanging out over here. We're gonna be clamping on the inside like so. So we go ahead and set that in. And now we just want to start torquing this down. Now you can do this from the inside if you need to. So we want to get a better position here. But we'll go ahead and spin this as fast as we can. As we get close to the install, you're going to start seeing it being a little bit more resistant to start tightening down. So we're going to go ahead and actually flip this guy like so. And you can see we have this little hole on the inside. It's going to be great for a finger to start actually getting it all the way torqued down as much as we want it. You can have a little bit of resistance against you, so it can really start helping as we approach those final little rotations. You can see how that flipping action makes that quick and easy to start getting this ratcheted in. Now that it's tightened down, we want to make sure our top bolts here are a little loose, and we will have an included Allen wrench here. So all I had to do, kind of wiggle these guys up. You could remove this entirely, but I don't really think it's necessary, especially once we get it set. Just loose enough that we're getting a little bit of clearance here for our bars. So let's go ahead and grab those bars and start getting it run through. Now you can start doing this in a host a lot of ways, but I like to just start from the outside, inserting through here, kind of walking that clip up a little bit. Once we get it started, it's gonna be real easy to sling the rest of our bar all the way through. I'm gonna go ahead and rest it on top of there walk around to the other side and meet up our bar again. Again, kind of repeating that process, just starting to filter it through. And we just want to make sure we're a little even. I'm kind of matching up to my other bar. But I'll take a quick measurement here. Right about three inches from the outside of our clip. And about three inches on this side. I'm going to go ahead and equate that distance. So now we're set. Now I can go ahead, take my Allen wrench, and start tightening down the silver clamp. Now that we're tightened down, we're pretty much good to go. It's really all we have for our actual installation, and now we're ready to start accessorizing. Well, I'm a pretty big fan of this rack. I think it makes it quick and easy to really start utilizing the back of our truck bed to its full potential. You can see it's very sturdy on here, not gonna be going anywhere, doing a very good job for us. The only thing I keep in mind, and if you have a tonneau cover, unfortunately, this probably won't, won't work great for you. But if you have a tonneau cover that's not taking up a lot of this rail space, maybe we can go ahead, fold that guy up, and use it intermittently between our tonneau cover. And I think that's why I really like these guys. You know, they're not a permanent solution. They can be a quick access for just those weekends trips or maybe just giving us a little versatility in our lives. Well, that about does it for our look at the NO truck bed cargo rack on our 2021 Ford Ranger. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching.